to demonstrate the technique of uh, a subacromial shoulder injection. The indication today is impingement syndrome and partial rotator cuff tear. The main goal of the injection is uh, to give pain relief. The risks and benefits of the procedures are reviewed with the patient and the appropriate consent signed. What we are going to demonstrate today is a posterior approach. So with the patient in a seated position, we will identify the important landmarks for the injection. The two structures to identify are the inferior border of the acromion and the coracoid process anteriorly. The injection site is approximately one centimeter inferior to the inferior border of the acromion lined up with the coracoid process on the anterior aspect. We always mark the spot prior to prepping the skin and doing the injection. So with the patient properly positioned and the injection location marked, the skin is prepped with betadine and alcohol using the no-touch technique. The medication is already prepared using typically a mixture of 40 milligrams of kenalog with 4 ml of 1% lidocaine. We use a 25 gauge needle, one and a half inch inches for the injection. So now we are going to proceed with the injection. We use ethyl chloride spray for uh, local anesthetic. We spray the skin for approximately five seconds. I'm going to spray your skin here. It's going to be a little cold. Okay. Around six inches away from the site of the injection. With our hand, the non-dominant hand on the top of the shoulder, we identify the care. coracoid process anteriorly and we proceed with 45 degrees angle towards the coracoid process. Once in the subacromial space, we inject the medication. In case we find any resistance, we reposition the needle until the medication flows easily. Then we withdraw the needle and apply some pressure with the gauze. any excess of betadine and apply a band-aid. And this includes the subacromial injection for the shoulder pain for impingement syndrome.